Hello, my name is Andy Durrant from Race Technology. This is a video to introduce the standard installation looms which we manufacture for the Dash 2 and the Dash 2 Pro. So this is the, uh, the Dash 2. Uh, the Dash 2 Pro looks very similar. The Dash 2 is a uh, standalone digital uh, dashboard display and the Dash 2 Pro, which looks pretty much identical, is also a digital display but it also has integrated logging GPS and a lot of advanced functions like um, built-in CAN receiver, ECU conversion and so on. But they both look the same. Um, in both cases they're flat on the back, metal housing. On the rear we've got two military spec round connectors for the loom. And on the front we've got the shift lights and the large format uh, transflective LCD display. So it's a very popular item uh, and as standard we supply it with what we call our mini loom which is basically connectors with about 150mm wide tails attached. So we put those wires on because customers reported they found it too difficult to solder onto the relatively high density connectors directly. And by putting wires on it, it just made life a lot easier for our customers. However, um, some customers still felt that was uh, too much installation effort required and uh, suggested that we make some standard loom kits, which is what I'd like to present today. So these are the, uh, these are the looms, our so-called standard loom kit, generic loom kit. This is how it's delivered. And this is the uh, part out of the bag. So we have uh, the, the two connections, the two main connections which go to the dashboard. They connect here and here. And then that's broken out to the different sensors. So here we have, uh, to start with, we have the four buttons. So separate them out, tangle it up. So here we have the four buttons. So these are up, down, menu and select. And typically in a, in a dashboard uh, installation, so that's on the dashboard, we go one, two, and then two the other side as well. So that allows the uh, dashboard's menus to be navigated. Those are actually on, uh, on small connectors. So you can disconnect it from the main loom and then you can thread them through the dashboard and then reconnect without having to do any soldering. We then have the wheel speed sensor. So this is a hall effect sensor which detects a passing metal object. So normally you're detecting wheel speed from a, a bolt on a prop shaft or on the back of a, a braking disc. And then that's detected by the, uh, the Dash 2 or the Dash 2 Pro and that's used to uh, measure the vehicle speed and the distance it's travelled for the odometer and so on. Next we have the, uh, the sensors. So we have um, three main sensors, so they're all labelled for you. So look, so we've got water temperature here. So this is a standard Bosch sensor uh, for water temperature. We've got the oil temperature, again it's the same sensor. And then crucially we have the analog oil pressure sensor. Um, there's a fourth one which is just wires and that's the fuel level sensor. So uh, in this case we don't actually supply the fuel sender because it's bespoke to the fuel tank so that there's no one sensor that fits all fuel tanks. However it's very straightforward to connect up. Um, there's just um, a ground wire and a signal wire to, to go onto the sender. So all this wire is very high quality PTFE wiring, so it's, uh, it's, it's fire resistant. Um, if there is a very extensive fire, it does start to burn. It's low smoke output, which makes it safe. And it's very it's high temperature, so it can withstand temperatures up to about 200 degrees C, which is much hotter than uh, most wires can withstand. And it's very abrasion resistant as well. It's a very tough coating, PTFE coating. So that's pretty much, that's very high quality uh, uh, loom and that would certainly be regarded as a full race specification loom. It's very high quality. Uh, in addition, we've got a few other bits and pieces. We've got the, uh, the data connector for going back to the computer. We've got a fused um, voltage input, so that goes to a switched uh, 12 volt supply and that supplies the dashboard obviously and all the sensors and everything else. And finally, we have a, a breakout lead for the road legal sensors. So the Dash 2 and Dash 2 Pro, they're both road legal. We have LEDs across the bottom here for things like uh, uh, indicators and full beam and uh, handbrake switch as well. 
and those are brought out to these wires. So for race applications, that can be typically disregarded, but for road legal applications, for anything that's got a pass an IBA or an MOT test, so um, these are wired onto the car. So again, it's just brought out as wire tails, but they're very straightforward to connect up, no real issues there. So, and the good news is, if you use the standard loom, um, then there's very, very, it, well, if any configuration you have to do to the dashboard itself. This is pre-configured to, to expect these sensors on the channels they're wired through to, all the calibration is taken care of, all the configuration is taken care of. So you pretty much connect that up, fit the loom, turn the units on, and it's ready to go. Of course, at a later stage, if you wish to customise the display, so customise the particular alarm thresholds or maybe the, the RPM that the shift lights come on, all that functionality is still available, but as standard, you're up and running very, very quickly. So that's the generic or the standard loom kit. That's very popular. Um, we do a couple of other options. This is a complete uh, dashboard installation which is prepared for a Series 1 Lotus Elise. So we do a few of these, um, these complete uh, dashboard installation kits. We do one for the Series 1 Elise, one for the Series 2 Elise, and we do one for the Yamaha R6 motorcycle as well. So in this case, everything's done for you. So we've got the dashboard on the front of the unit, obviously. Uh, that's mounted onto a carbon fibre panel, a flat panel, which is CNC cut and drilled. So that goes into the standard Series 1 Elise binnacle. So that just, that's a direct fit, very, very straightforward to fit that in. Got the four operational buttons. So we have up, down, set and menu uh, mounts on the front panel. And we've got the USB down, download lead. In this case, this is a Dash 2 Pro. So that's, this has the integrated data logging uh, all built into it in the GPS. So the USB in this case is essential for downloading the data, but that can also be used for configuration if you do wish to change anything on the display. And on the back, you can see absolutely everything is already done. So these are the standard dashboard connectors which are already present on the Lotus Elise. So you remove the current OEM dashboard and this is just plugged on and screwed in. Whereas installing a dashboard from scratch, you can imagine it takes a few hours to route all the wires and sort out the sensors and so on. Yeah, so that is the, uh, and I should just mention, that's the, uh, the GPS antennas. So the antenna would normally be on the roof of the vehicle. Okay, well I hope that was helpful just to introducing what the standard loom kits are about and hopefully you could see it could save you quite a lot of installation time and effort, so it's a good option. If you do have any further questions or if you require a customised loom or um, any other details about it, then please just give us a call in the office and we'd be delighted to help. Thanks very much.